Paul James here, and in this video, I'm gonna share with you how you can install WordPress on your computer so that you can develop sites for either yourself or for your customers first on your computer before you actually upload the changes to their server. Gone are the days of actually having to like develop the site live and have people maybe land on the site before it's finished. You could do this all ahead of time by developing it first on your own computer and then transferring it over. So let's get started. So you're gonna have to go and download WordPress. So just go to wordpress.org forward slash download and download the latest version of WordPress. The other thing you're gonna need is you're going to need a server to run WordPress, just kind of like your web host does, only you're gonna run this on your local machine. Now I'm on a Mac, so I'm gonna use a server called MAMP, but if you're on a Windows machine, you can use the alternative, which is WAMP. So go ahead and download and install either WAMP or MAMP. Now MAMP and WAMP have a free version and a pro version. Totally fine just using the free version, that's what I'm going to use. So let's go ahead and install it. All right, now that MAMP is installed, we can go ahead and open it up. So here it is, we're gonna hit the MAMP icon and we're gonna launch MAMP, not the pro version. And we're gonna go ahead and start the servers. Great, so once it started up, it will go ahead and load just like this and you'll know you're good to go. Uh, you'll wanna take note of the address in your address bar, localhost and then 8888, okay? That's how you're going to access the server. And then forward slash MAMP will bring you to this page here. So what we're gonna do is we're going to start by unzipping WordPress. So go ahead and download your WordPress install. It'll give you a zip file. Unzip it. You'll end up with a folder like this. And in your MAMP folder, there's going to be a folder inside of it called htdocs. And that's where all of your files need to go. Now you don't wanna drag them right into this folder. You wanna actually create a subfolder and this is going to be whatever client or whatever website you're working on. So I'm gonna be creating a roofing site. So I'm gonna name this folder roofing and I'm gonna open it up and I'm gonna drag all of these WordPress files inside of there. Great, so now when I wanna visit this site, I simply need to go to my web browser and type in localhost 888, but instead of slash MAMP, I'm gonna type in slash roofing. So before we can get started, we have to actually create a database because WordPress needs a database. So we're gonna to come to the exact same address, we're gonna delete MAMP, and we're gonna instead type in PHP my admin. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a database. So we're gonna give our database a name, I'm gonna call it roofing, and we're just gonna hit create. Back to the WordPress files, we need to edit a file in here called wp-config. So here it is right here, it's called wp-config. It says sample right now, what we're gonna actually do is we're gonna delete the sample from the file name. So we want to say wp-config.php, and we're gonna open this file up. You can use any text editor you'd like. I prefer Text Wrangler, which is also free. So inside of here, there's a few things that we need to change. Um, we need to enter in our database name, which was roofing. And then we need to enter in the database username and password, which in the case of using MAMP or WAMP, it's just root and root. All right, we're gonna save that file. So you can either just go to file save, or you can just hit the uh, command S or control S. All right, great, we can close out of there now. And now we're ready to actually go and visit our site. So again, we're gonna to go to localhost 888 forward slash roofing because that's the folder I created. All right, so we're ready to install WordPress now that we have the database connected. We're gonna hit continue. We're gonna call our site something, so I'm gonna call it roofing. I'll just make up a username. And we're gonna install WordPress. And that's it, now we can log into our WordPress site. This should look really familiar to you and you're ready to start developing your client site. 
you like this video and you want to see more like it, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to be notified every time I put out a new video. And make sure you drop me a like and a comment about what you'd like to see in the future. Thanks again for stopping by.